All right, so welcome back. You're still watching Ways, and we still have Tunji Oshioye with us. Um, before the break, I was asking this question about um, people not valuing, you know, their lives, you know, because when people come and say, ah, you know, we always have this attitude of, oh, God forbid, it's not going to happen and all of that. And when I looked at that um, explosion that happened, look at the number of lives that were lost. Imagine if probably maybe they had life insurance. I mean, it would have really brought... It might sound that you're, you're gaining out off of somebody mm -hmm. else's demise, but it would have brought a lot of relief. Because I've seen people say, you know what, they're looking for burial money, they're mm -hmm. looking for maybe hospital bills and all of that. Why do you think, I mean, where, where is that gap, you know, that we're not placing premium on our lives as, as individuals? Where is that gap coming from? Well, it's not necessary that we're not place, placing premium on our lives. We just have our beliefs in something else. That's just it. And it's not in insurance. So This is in God. The cultural system around Nigeria is more around religion and around social amenities. So if something happens, I can go to my auntie, my uncle, and every the whole family will rally around. They'll pull around to, to help me. And that has worked for us for, uh, years. for years. But like you said, it is everyone has to own its own. And it's quite unfortunate that the only teachings or the learnings that it has to come from something really happening, something terrible happening, like that Bulado uh, incident. incident. Mm -hmm. It's learning for others, but it took for something like that to mm -hmm. happen for people too. And you will see also where when, when the breadwinner dies yeah. and the children are unable to go to school or because there is no insurance in place, it will take things like that to happen for someone else to then, I don't want this to happen to me. Right? But the perception is that insurance is expensive. Yes, insurance um, products are now very, very affordable because um, most of the players in the industry have taken into consideration this various strata within the Nigerian um, economy. So from the A to the B to the C to the D. So I mean, if you're earning 20,000 naira, right, you can buy insurance for as low as 500 naira in Nigeria today. And it's quite mm -hmm. substantial. That takes care of little things as in, you have an accident, um, you've broken your leg, you, you had a car accident, so things like that. And it's easily taken care of without you having to be a burden on, any, on anyone. Same also if you, it saves family income. If a breadwinner dies, you can buy insurance as low as 5,000 naira. And it covers you for an entire year such that if anything happens to you, your family or your children, their level, standard of living doesn't drop. Yeah. So insurance is now extremely affordable. Awesome. Yeah. 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 So I have a question. Um, who is your biggest problem in the sense that um, is there a possibility that religious belief is part of the reason why a lot of Nigerians don't, don't bother about insurance? Because yes, we are religious and you see people saying, I pay I'm my tithe and God you know, rebukes the devourer for my I sake think. and all those things that we've got going on. I'm a Christian, I've done that on a couple of cases. So um, is, is that connected to the reason a lot of us don't go for insurance? Because we just think automatically we're covered. It's, it's connected, but I don't want to limit it to um, religion alone. Like I said, I think it's just our cultural being. Religion is part of our culture in Nigeria now, and it's very strong. People believe in it. Faith is a big thing in Nigeria, so you can't, you can, you can't take it away. However, mm -hmm. the flip side of that is the church you're going to is probably in short. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty is probably insured. good one, <laughs> right? So the pastor's life is probably the pastor's insured. life is probably insured. Wow. Yeah. These cars are probably insured. All mm. the mics and all the paraphernalia of the church is probably insured. So if all of that is going on, why <laughs> would hey. you want to be insured? <laughs> yeah, you know, people don't don't think about these things. Um, for me, I, you talked about you know, public liability insurance and the government's. Um, the role the government has to play in insurance. Now, just like the financial sector, we also have a regulator. What kind of changes or what kind of, I won't call them policies now, what would you like to see your regulator doing to really help grow the business of insurance or the industry of insurance in Nigeria? Hmm. Enforcement. So today we have some compulsory insurances. One is third party motor insurance. Mm. Until we started enforcing it at some point, everybody didn't take it serious. But now it's 
sort of uh, taking up his life, life on his own. Home insurance or property insurance is also a compulsory insurance that everyone should have. However, it's not enforced. enforced. If there is a way by which the regulator in conjunction with the law enforcement agencies can enforce that, then it's, it, in developed countries, that's what happened. They just I absolutely it. do agree with you. You know why? Um, so I am one of the beneficiaries of the Lagos State Homes um, that Fashola built yes. during his government. You know, and part of the requirement when we when we paid because it's on a mortgage. When we pay, we have to pay for That's insurance. You know that is because it's a government property. I think government properties they they do enforce those things because they don't want to bear any loss. Absolutely. You know, but now because if people feel okay, this is my home, is my individual house, maybe the government will not feel the need to go and enforce that. What yeah, but you mean? I mean? But their cars also are their individual cars. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So in, in in developed world, that's what happened. That's the penetration ratio that we all talk about. That it's a, it's um, enhanced in. Um, United States, on the UK, or in other countries, it's because everything to everything you do has insurance tied to it. So we have two questions coming in. Someone says, um, "This is from Joy." He says, "Saw a raw, a, sorry, saw a rant by the actor Ramsey Noah about a newly broken TV screen." I, I, I like to know if we have insurance option for household too. Sure. Then. Um, this one is from Bob. It says, "Ways life insurance is the hardest to sell. We are very religious. That's what <laughs> <laughs> that person must be an insurance person. <laughs> yeah. That person must be an, be an insurance person. But, but, but on a serious note, um, though, with the Abula Ado, let's let's go back to that. Mm -hmm. So, what if let's say um, a scenario? What if I had insurance and maybe I didn't die?" but I was heavily injured and all of that. So what would the insurance, because maybe if we start to preach the benefits of having an insurance, you know, maybe people will take it a lot more seriously, mm -hmm. you know. So if something did not happen like death, I'm still alive, how would I, how would I benefit? Would it be like a one year, they'll keep on taking care of my hospital bill or what, it, what would it look like for a package, you know, for that kind of um, severe um, accident? It would have been, the kind of policy you bought, but there are policies that exist for that. There okay. are personal accident policies, there are life insurance policies that have personal accident um, cool. benefit along with them. Okay. And this is again in res these products were built in response to yearning of Nigerians. We can't keep waiting for people to die before they start um, getting value on insurance. So we have to bring in a lot of things that you can enjoy whilst you are alive. Yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of products. Um. I, I would just like to ask, um, leaning more towards your product development experience, uh, my experience of insurance outside of Nigeria, I remember when I was going to buy motor insurance, um, I was assessed as an individual. So they took into account where I live, where my car is parked, how old I am. But I found that when I came to Nigeria, insurance is almost a, it's a flat rate on motor so people will say oh i want 3.5 percent or i want 2.5 percent mm -hmm. so can you just you know help us understand why those kind of differences exist i i, I can't thank you enough for that question mm -hmm. because in 2015 uh, when i got to alliance it was uh, union assurance then being taken over to become um, insure insurance we we had done our survey i wanted to build a motor product but we felt that the person living in Oshodi should not pay as much as the person living in VI. Go, we bless the you. The person who has with five cars island. should not pay as much as someone that had one car. Because with five cars, you probably have one that you drive maybe once in six months. We tried to put all of these things in place, but right. the market rejected it. It was the market that rejected it. And said, no, 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 no. I, I mean, if you have a garage and you park on the streets, you should pay different rates. That is actually how insurance should be, but the market rejected. So there's also a bit of market sophistication. Okay, that so hasn't. talking about market, somebody's <laughs> it's it's targeting. <laughs> insurance company are bad at four and nine outfit. Oh my goodness. I entered an agreement with one life insurance company for five years. After maturity, they refused to pay me for more than three years today. So now he says, So what can you do to help me? This is from DA Balami from Meduguri. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I mean I don't I'm not privy to the details of this. Um, yeah. However, if there are grievances, um, the regulators frowns completely mm -hmm. uh, on cost, uh, customer grievances, and they take it very serious. So I would advise um, the gentleman to get across to Nikon, write to them, and state his case, and Nikon would definitely invite 
um, the insurance company to come and explain. And if they are found to have been culpable, they will, they will, they will be sanctioned. Mm -hmm. I'd like to point out for, for was it Balami? Yes, Balami. Balami, that it's also important, Tunji had mentioned the value or the importance of reading your policy document. A lot of people don't read their policy documents. And you know, you find but, that you find that as with any product in Nigeria, salespeople sometimes will only pitch you half the message that gets the sale. Yes, let's, let's trust, 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 trust us. Get in first. <laughs> trust us. So the fact is, you do, I mean, no, it's hard to read the fine print. You said you it, you to. mentioned it, and let me explain. Yes. Most people don't like to read those fine prints. Can you just put it in plain English for me to understand? So why do, we, why do we even need to have fine prints in the first place, if it is not shroudy? That's my point. So I again agree with you, uh -huh. which is, uh, so Alliance Nigeria, we said the yardstick was, if a five-year-old can understand it, then that is how it should be. That's what we're saying. We had gone to say, because yeah, we understood that it was a bit it, very, very technical. So we had gone to simplify. Yeah. So it's very valid that the policy documents were quite technical and not mm. easy to understand. But even as we have simplified, simplified it. it. It's still quite <laughs> <laughs> well, right. yeah, So no more, okay. no more, no more, uh, what's it called? Uh, promoting so alliance. But I, um, <laughs> <laughs> someone says, uh, ways I, I agree with enforcement. Um, insurance is bigger than banks in bigger economies. Absolutely. We need to make it a must. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. about enforcement. He's just Absolutely. agreeing with you. Absolutely. I think yeah, it's also... Okay, so, okay. Right. so I was reading somewhere that insurance uh, helps to stabilize the economy, and I figured I should ask you that. How exactly does that happen? Insurance stabilizing, helping to stabilize the economy. Yeah, if you look at, I don't know what, I can't remember what year is it right now, um, the U.S. bailouts. Mm -hmm. It was insurance funds that was used in bailing out the economy in the United States when uh, it went when the economy went the poof. Crash. So it's the fact that it's um, the concept of a pool, large numbers. If you're paying a thousand naira, a thousand naira, a thousand naira, a thousand naira, the probability of a claim is lower when the numbers are larger. And that means we have a lot more funds sitting in there somewhere for investment. And when catastrophes happen, then things like those funds ah, are... We have questions to deal with. Someone says, Biko, please. What have insurance company done for my father? He insures everything he holds. And even the bag, if, um, if cement he uses for build the bag of cement he uses for building please is it an issue is it an issue that we should be scared of that even the bag even the bag of cement that he uses everything. that he insures every single thing that is a very very that's a very that's smart, smart man that's a very smart man that's yeah. a very smart man <laughs> It shows no. everything. <laughs> it shows everything. Yeah. That even the bag of cement that he, he used to know, but it shouldn't be like that now. It's, it's not that bad. That, it should you know, be do, like that. Do you remember when we had, um, oh, I forget his name now, the gentleman who came on the show and talked about tourism in Nigeria? Yeah. And he said living and having a business in Nigeria is an extreme sport. Yeah. We live in a very risk rich environment. If you can transfer that risk onto another entity, why wouldn't you? Eh, let mm. the entity shall just give us for us that don't have risk return some money back to us we'll be all right okay. so what would you leave with um with our audience you know in terms of trying to break i mean more like spreading the awareness about the importance of insurance because we cannot overemphasize this we have to bring you back you know to talk about because there are too, too many angles for insurance yeah. but what would you want to leave with our audience this evening it's to for our audience to understand that risk persists it permits our entire lives everything we do and insurance in nigeria has really really gone far we understand the skepticism of t of times past their products very cheap and affordable products the service in nigeria has improved tremendously um, there have been an influx of big players coming into the nigerian market and has helped improve this uh, this service delivery in terms of insurance so i would like to leave our viewers with the fact that they should they should really, really trust insurance and pick up a policy. I will encourage everyone to pick up a policy, be it life insurance, be it home insurance, be it motor insurance, be it a savings plan, be it an educational plan. There's just a myriad of products that you can pick up. They can pick up from. Thank you okay, so much on that say. note. We say thank you for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you to that. all the people that sent you. I mean, the messages were just pouring. Um, <laughs> and the one from Meduguri, Balami, thank you so much for sending in mm -hmm. your message. Now, you can watch a repeat broadcast on Mondays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 3 p.m. It's been a very insightful conversation, Lee. Yes. yes.
Christians were preaching. Which was quiet, they were saying, you know. I'm like, you know, if I speak today, it will feel like I'm trying to pre preach my ministry. <laughs> and I have someone that's more qualified to <laughs> preach that ministry. So I'm just basking in the insurance glue. Uh, really? I did, I did learn a lot. <laughs> all right, so uh, please keep all the conversations going on all our social media handles as we continue to hear what you are saying now in case you missed today's quote. At the same cost spent on occasional pizza or dining out, one can cover premium costs for lasting protection with insurance. I mean, you've heard it from our right. as low as five hundred. It is very, very cheap to get insured. So enjoy the rest of your evening. Remember to stay safe. Stay safe and wash insure. your hands. Wash yeah. your hands. All right. Bye. <laughs>